Welcome to Cyborg Studios. My name is Simon Maybock. This is today's topic. It's the Apple iPad or the iPhone. Um, we have Cyborg Rooms now available on both of these devices. Uh, we just want to show you quickly how you can set up your own application for this device and um, demonstrate you a small application that we did on like what can be done on these devices. So we open the Safari um, just to show you the application. This is a fitness studio here uh, that we did for a customer. Uh, you can navigate like with your normal fingertips as you normally do. You can really easily click on information points or uh, switch to different rooms like this. Um, yeah, you can navigate like over a map as well. Let's go here. So, or we have like a list with all the available rooms, uh, so we can just switch to a different location again. Yeah, it's like this, it's really easy. You can even zoom. Um, yeah, all the stuff that you know from uh, other applications works in this thing as well. Uh, it even works upright if you just. So, yeah, no problem. So, now we're going to show you how you set up your own application for this device. Just follow me. So let's start. Um, we have prepared an, an application first in the uh, architect. Uh, we are fully satisfied with it. It has different rooms, like three at the moment. It has some icons to switch between the rooms. And uh, we are normally we are now ready and uh, this can go live onto the internet. Uh, we can just export it for once. Um, it's loading in the web browser. This is now all flash. Uh, and on the iPad we need it to be an HTML5 and we need uh, to have like a cubic panorama uh, and so we have to convert this whole panorama image to six different faces uh, for a cube. This can be done with a third-party uh, software called PTGUI. Uh, you can Download the trial version. Um, there's, um, we don't need the full version. You don't need like a fully licensed version. We just need a small tool in the software. So download the trial version. It's for free. Uh, when you've downloaded the whole thing, just open it. Um, we have the trial version as well. Just wait for uh, several seconds. So now we basically just have to use. Um, the tool convert to cubic. Um, now we just load all the panorama images from our application. We have like an application that's located here. Um, we go to that folder and just add all the files that we have here. These are the three uh, panorama images. And we open them and we convert them to cube faces, six separate files. Um, for the devices we need uh, different um, sizes of the image. For the iPad we need uh, uh, 1024 pixels. For the iPhone 4 we need uh, 960 pixels and for the iPhone 3GS and below we need 480 uh, pixels. So we uh, basically just start by um, entering, uh, let's see what we have already prepared some, yeah we just prepared the names for the um, iPhone 3G device, this is like underscore 480 underscore 1 to 6, and this is a space too much, this is the name that we should give the images otherwise it won't work. Uh, hit OK. We then have to enter the size. It's 480 pixels and then we just hit convert. Now the program converts our uh, panorama images into these six separate files, JPEGs with the names that we gave here. Um, the next thing is we do it for the other um, devices as well. Just 960 for the iPhone 4, let's see, 
Okay, we change the size to 960, convert once again. Uh, this takes like sometimes for every minute, for every image, like a couple of minutes, probably uh, on this machine it's uh, like for three images and probably half a minute. So last but not least for the iPad we need 1024 pixels again just give the different names like this change the size to 1024 pixel and convert so and now we're finished uh, we have all our images in the folder and we can now um, go on and uh, move this thing via FTP client to our web server and then we could already load the application on the iPad or the iPhone. So just can get a look in there you see we have like these were our first three images and now we have like for every image uh, three different versions with six faces. Okay, now we're gonna move it to the web server and then we're gonna have a look on the iPad again. So the upload is finished. Uh, we can now take a look at the iPad and uh, take a look at the application that we just uploaded. Um, we start by, uh, this, this is the main page. Um, this is a blank page. This would be normally uh, would normally be integrated into a different website. We just have it really plain and simple. We now click like the button, and the whole application starts. And as you can see, it's like the it, the room that we just set up. And we can change to the different room. Oh, yeah, this is like the kitchen. So. It all works pretty smoothly and pretty fine, yeah, zoom, stuff like that. So there's not much more to show you now. So it's your turn. Go to cyborgstudios.com, uh, get your free version of Cyber Grooms and uh, build your own application and show it to your friends via your iPad or your iPhone or something. Goodbye.